Very honored and privileged to be joined now by S. Gurumurthy. He is the very popular editor of Tughlaq, one of the finest voices uh, on the issues that we're about to discuss. Uh, uh, good evening, Mr. Gurumurthy. Good to see you. Thank you, sir, for your time uh, on this particular issue. I know you have a lot of opinions about the things that you've been seeing going around. I'd like to start right at the very basic level, sir, on the Pran Pratishtha the fact that the Ram Mandir is becoming a reality after such a long time. You know, everyone is aware of the journey it has taken to reach this place. Your, your thoughts and sentiments at this time with the Ram Mandir in sight, sir. See, it is amazing that uh, the opposition is uh, replaying uh, what it has been doing in 1980s and 90s. At that time it was conceded by everybody including the government that uh, the structure which stood in Ram's birthplace hmm. was a disputed structure and it was an unoccupied structure. It was not something which uh, the uh, government's post-independence began saying. It was in 1886 a British judge who went to the spot to inspect uh, the building there, the status of the building there, on a case filed for recovery of uh, Rama Janmasthan by somebody, hmm. he said that it is unfortunate that a mosque has been built on the place held sacred by the Hindus, by Baba, but it is completely unoccupied. There is nobody in it and it is a deserted place. But still, after 300 years, I will not be able to order any remedy. Hmm. So, the, what he said about ordering the remedy is not relevant. What he said about the state of the building, that it was an unoccupied structure, is relevant. So, for somebody to say that it is a mask, how did the idea of mask come in? You see, many people do not know even what happened last year. But hmm. since I have had been associated with this movement from the beginning, from 1984. It was first the Congress government which declared in Parliament that it was a masjid. It was completely a fake declaration because the government's own record showed it was a disputed structure. And in the government's own uh, white paper, which they published in 1993 after the demolition, they mm. called it a disputed structure. It was only in the interregnum, it was called as the mosque to turn it into a dispute between Hindus and Muslims and at the global level, Hindus yes. were defamed and humiliated as having destroyed a functioning mosque. So you can understand the level of illiteracy that prevails or the extent to which the uh, whole discourse and debate is being distorted to continue mm. the same politics which has turned the country into a very different country. Politicians do not even have an intelligent way of expressing their selfish uh, politics. Mm.